Today I'm going to do a video that is way overdue and that is my current favorite lipsticks. Um, I just wanted to film something fun that, uh, I don't know, I just have like concrete favorites right now and let's just jump into it. So the first one um, is from the new Bite Amuse Bouche line. Um, two of these are actually from that line. I'm just going to show them to you back to back. This one is called Honeycomb and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Let's do a little hand swatch for you also. So that is Honeycomb. I just think this formula is so great. Goes on creamy but looks more matte and um, the taste is really good too. At first it tastes kind of like orange and then it tastes like bubble gum and all kinds of yumminess. So I am big time loving this lipstick. So the next one on my list is another Bite Amuse Bouche lipstick and this is in the shade Saki. And it's just a really nice kind of cool toned purple along the lines of like Nars Anna. Um, I had originally gotten the shade Chai and returned it because I just felt like it looked more like a rosy, like a reddish brown on me and that just wasn't what I thought it was going to be and it just wasn't particularly flattering. So I exchanged it for Saki and I love it. So that's two of those swatched and that's what it looks like on my lips. Let's continue. The next one is from the Dolce & Gabbana matte uh, lipstick line. This is the shade uh, Dolce Nudo and um, I got this from Nordstrom online but Saks also carries it. It's just a really nice peachy pink nude. Um, I did want to say also that I am swatching these all on my lips just straightforward, nothing, not using anything else on my lips, but usually pretty much anything I put on my lips now I use a liner to line around the edges to just kind of define my lips a little better. So just keep that in mind. Um, I think this shade is so pretty and they have kind of a um, candied violet taste so if um, it doesn't really fade either so if that bothers you I would steer clear from these but this formula is so nice it's matte but it feels creamy and comfortable and it wears really well so that's Dolce Nudo extreme close-up I thought it might be helpful if I kind of zoomed in more since I am doing lip swatches um, the next one I am showing you is also from Dolce & Gabbana this one is exclusive to Saks right now it's called Dolce Natural it's number 132 and this is the swatch of my hand um, this is probably this one bite honeycomb and a Bobbi Brown art stick that I will show you shortly are probably my three like most worn out of all of these so this is such a comfortable lipstick and I just love this shade it goes with everything I like it particularly with these like mustardy colored um, shades in my eyes and uh, yeah so that's Dolce Natural so the next one I'm going to show you pardon its haggard appearance because this one has been a handbag staple for me since I first got it and that was quite a while back um, this is Bobbi Brown's art stick in the shade brown berry and this is a little swatch. It's a very badly done swatch because it's down to like a nubbin and I need to sharpen it again. One thing I really like about these is that they do, every one you buy will come with a sharpener, which is kind of ridiculous for me because I have quite a few of them and I really don't need that many sharpeners. But um, I do like that it does come with a sharpener that fits perfectly on this um, chubby pencil tip. So what's great about these is they go on so smooth, they're so pigmented, you really don't need a liner. I tend to wear a liner just because I like liner so much, but um, you really don't. They're just like grab and go and you can also use this on your cheeks, which I've never tried, but I imagine this shade in particular would be really lovely on the cheeks. So I actually have a backup of this. That's how much I love it. So moving on, this is Bobbi Brown, Brown Berry again. Sorry about my phone. I'm going to mute it right now so weird to see myself so zoomed in on screen oh it's gonna be a really hard to watch video when I edit it um well when I write the info box because y'all know I don't really edit my videos aside from putting clips together um so the next one I'm going to show you is another Bobbi Brown art stick and it is in the shade rich nude 
Um, now I should add that the this shade and Brown Berry, um, Brown Berry which was originally released as part of the Art Stick Trio that, from the um, Holiday Collection, and it has been brought back as part of the Malibu Nudes Collection. And this shade is also part of that collection. So um, I'm not sure if they're gonna be made permanent. I really hope they are because they're great shades and the Art Stick range really does need some great nudes um, in the permanent selection but this is rich nude swatched and what's funny about bobby brown and i feel like this is true a lot of times with her collections or with just her regular shade names is i feel like they could be switched like i feel like this is called rich nude but i feel like brown berry would be a better name for this shade and then i feel like the other one is more of a rich nude but that's just me so both of them are must-haves in my opinion they're just such a great formula and i feel like nobody talks about these and they're freaking amazing you guys get on the bobby brown art stick bandwagon that was kind of a tongue twister but this is rich nude and i freaking love it and they wear amazingly all throughout the day too which is another thing that i love about them so that's my little love fest for bobby brown art sticks but once again that is rich nude so next up I have two shades from the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Collection. I just think that these are so fun and they're not my favorite formula by any means. They have a really fun applicator though and they smell like chocolate, taste like chocolate, and the shades are just so beautiful and kind of not super common shades. So this is Chocolate Milkshake. And as you can see, it's kind of a warm peachy, brown nude. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Give me a second. That was just in the nick of time because I know you do not want to see me sneezing when I am this close to the camera. <laughs> so anyways, I was saying this is just such an interesting shade too. Um, I don't wear these as much as I wear the other products I'm going to show you, but I just think they're so worth having. And if I lost either of them, I would repurchase them in a second. So, um, yeah, this one is Chocolate Milkshake. Love it. So the next shade is the other um, Too Faced Melted Chocolate lipstick I was going to mention, and that is um, the shade Chocolate Honey. So that's the swatch right there. It's the darker one. Um, the thing that I don't love about this formula so much is that it's kind of an oil-based product, and because of the way it dispenses, um, it can be a little messy and like when I applied this one just now I got lipstick on my teeth so you have to be careful for that it's definitely one that you have to do the pull through method the only one that works <laughs> um, but yeah this is kind of an oilier formula but I still love these so much and just how pretty is this packaging I just love it so all right you guys let's get into matte liquid lipsticks Ooh. So hands down, my favorite matte liquid lipstick formula is by Dose of Colors, and my favorite shade they do is the shade Truffle. Um, here's a swatch of it right here. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is actually my second time purchasing this shade. I used one up already, so I had purchased it, um, I think during my birthday month, so in September, and it lasted until like February. So, I mean, I wore it a ton in that time, but still I was surprised that I ran out of it because it feels like I never run out of lip products, but and it just sucks when it's something that you want to repurchase. I'm like, no, because it's not really, you're not really dwindling down your collection at all if you're just going to repurchase it. So anyways, um, one thing I love about this, I didn't really show you very closely right now, is the applicator. It's fantastic for getting, you know, precision. Um, this is just such a comfortable formula and it wears better than any um, liquid lipstick formula that I've tried. Like it does not flake on me. It doesn't make my lips feel dry. I know different people have different experiences. Not everyone loves these, but I just can't get over them. They are such good quality lipsticks. So once again, this is Truffle by Dose of Colors. Before I get into the next shade, I just wanted to show you that to remove um, matte liquid lipsticks, I always use some sort of a cleansing balm. I just, this one is from um, Boots. It's the Hot Cloth Cleansing Balm. I think it's like $8 from Target. My all-time favorite is the Clinique 
um, take the day off cleansing balm, but I ran out of it and I'm a beauty lover on a budget. <laughs> so I just uh, got this one instead. There's some lipstick in it because it's pretty much all I use it for is lipstick. So it's my own germs. I don't really mind. But um, anyways, that's what I use. And I think it's much easier to use a cleansing balm than like a wipe or anything like that because you can get more precision just dabbing it on your lips and then wiping it off with a tissue. So moving on. So this next one is in the shade Bear With Me. That's the hand swatch. It's not fully dry on my hand, but it is um, dry on my lips now. What I like about these so much too is that they look matte, but they don't have a dry appearance on the lips, which is one thing I think that I don't like about a lot of um, matte liquid lipsticks. Like, I really, really strongly dislike the Kat Von D ones. I know people love them, but they wear so terribly on me. Um, Bow and Arrow and Lolita both would just like start disappearing on my lips. They would crumble. Um, they just didn't really make my lips look full or they just weren't flattering. And I don't know, I just am not a fan. But these ones I feel like look really nice on the lips. They feel comfortable. And I love the shade range too. So once again, this is Bear With Me. Okay, you guys, so last from Dose of Colors, this is the shade Cork. That's the swatch on my hand, more like on my arm. <laughs> um, and then this is what it looks like on my lips. I think it's such a beautiful, warm, chocolatey brown color. Um, it's just stunning. And then I wanted to show you too that a lot of times I wear this color a little bit differently. Um, I put Bear With Me on top. So I'm just going to do that right now. I need to look in my other mirror. So you see I just uh, took a little, kind of dotted it on my lips and then blended it in with my finger and I feel like that kind of makes it more of a um, neutral shade and it kind of gives it some depth. Like I said, I usually use lip liners with any of these lip products, but um, especially if I'm going to do something like that, it tends to be a less even edge. So if I use a liner um, along the same lines, it'll kind of blend it a little bit better. But anyways, that's um, cork with Bear With Me on top. Um, I love that combo. So, all right, one more to go. All right, so last on my list of my current favorite and most worn lipsticks is this one from Stila, and it's called Firenz, or Firenz. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, I'll list all the names of these products in the info box as well. Um, this is the swatch my hand. I had a little bending wrist incident, as you can see. Um, but it's just a nice kind of mauve-y, um, yeah, it's a mauve with kind of brown undertones. I feel like this shade is really, kind of shade is really flattering on my skin tone, um, and it goes with a lot of the makeup looks that I've been wearing lately. Um, I'll show you the applicator too. So this isn't my absolute favorite formula. I feel like the wand is a little bit flimsy. Um, and it doesn't wear perfectly throughout the day. It does start to, start to kind of fade um, in the center of your lips. But what I like about it is that um, this formula is really buildable. So when that starts to happen, you can reapply and it won't like flake or get crusty or anything like that. Like you can, can reapply it and um, it'll blend in smoothly. So, um, and all of those uh, liquid lipsticks that I showed you, the Dose of Colors and the Stila one, they all have kind of a vanilla scent that's um, nothing kind of crazy or nauseating or anything like that. It's very mild. So yeah, as you can see, most of my most worn lip colors are in the same sort of shade range. There are a couple kind of different ones, um, but I tend to gravitate towards my comfort zone and just what I feel like I like best on me. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to zoom out. 
Actually, I'm going to stop recording and then zoom out. The main reason I wanted to zoom out is so you could see Mouse back there. <laughs> He's always creeping on me when I film. Mouse? Mouse! Hi, Mousey! <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I said, I'll list everything in the info box. And um, if there's anything you want me to film, aside from my makeup collection, um, or if you have any questions or anything, just leave them in the um, comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, also, I recently created a Snapchat account and I have been using it. I've been posting little hauls and reviews and all sorts of little things um, on there. So if you want to follow me on there, I'm not Jesse 83 or not Jesse 1983. I can't even remember. I'll listen in the info box. I probably should have checked that first. <laughs> because I wanted to be Don't Call Me Jesse and that was taken already. So anyways, that's a completely irrelevant story. So um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.